I recently came across a video on YouTube by Bertolt Meyer, a musician and DJ who hacked his prosthetic arm to create a new way of turning his muscle signals into musical manipulations. I'm wearing this uh, prosthetic hand, right? And it's, it's a pretty neat device um, and it's controlled very easily with electrodes that sit on the surface of the skin. And as you can see, you can rotate the hand a full 360. Um, and it's kind of okay and easy to work a record player with that, to DJ with records and so forth. But a while ago I started into music production and I'm using modular synthesizers to do music and devices that look like this. And these devices, you know, they have so many knobs and buttons. It's really difficult to operate them with a hand prosthesis like this. But as you can see, there is like a little jack next to each button the way you can plug in a cable um, to remote control every button. And I always thought it's kind of stupid that my arm picks up electricity from my body, which is then transformed into a movement here. And then I turn a knob there, which is transformed back into electricity. It's kind of a stupid detour. So, you know, why not take the more direct way and find a way to plug a cable like this into my arm and send the signals directly into the synthesizer? Thanks to some 3D printing, soldering, and parts from an older non-functioning prosthesis, Bertolt and friends were able to make that dream into a real prototype device called Sinlim. I can pop this off. I know it looks weird, like don't be afraid, you have to spin it a couple times and then it'll just pop off like this. And then we've developed this device here, right? And you can pop it on here like this, switch it on. Right, that's what it looks like. And now you can plug a cable in here and take the other end of the cable and plug it somewhere like in here, right? And then you can transform the signals from the prosthesis into the synthesizer. So that's how it works. You, you don't think about a melody and it comes out of these cables. That's not how this works. You can really use these two cables to modify different parameters and it really depends on where you plug them in. So the way what I normally do is I program a little melody and then I, I change this, the parameters of that melody with the signals coming from here. So you change the pitch, for example, or you change the groove or you change the length and then you plug it into something else and then you can use it to cut the bass. And then you can plug it into something else and then the same signal that just a second ago would cut the bass now opens and closes the filter. That's the great thing about these modular synthesizers. They're so versatile and you can, you can basically control any parameter that's musical with a plug like this. Let's crank the offset up a little bit. There, you, do you hear that? So the pitch will go up so I can now open the filter or change the pitch. So. Um, everything we need for a little modular jam. It's difficult to describe how it feels. How do you move your finger, right? You just think about it and then it, and then it happens. And so I think the thing that I would normally think to move the prosthesis, you know, it's something that I've learned to do for the past 20 years. It's second nature for me to produce these signals. So you just think about them and it happens. And to, to experience that this thing that you do with your head does something completely different than you're normally loose, used to. Like normally you're used to like your hand is moving and then suddenly something musical happens and it's still a mixture of surprise and joy. I've spent the past 20 years to learn to train my body to produce a specific muscle signal. So I've kind of learned to use my body as an interface to produce specific signals that technology will understand. And for everybody else, it would be an extremely steep learning curve. And that's why this kind of interface, I think is not that suitable for the mass market. We need something that interfaces more di directly with the brain without the detour of brain to muscle to signal, right? But that will still need a lot of research. You can find Bertolt's full video on the Sinlim prototype over on his YouTube channel. I'm still very, very much overwhelmed by the kind of uh, attention it has generated. I mean, just the fact that we're two talking right now, kind of weird. So, but yeah, have a look at the YouTube channel, check out my SoundCloud, it'll be great.